Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm scrapbooking this photo of Cinderella Castle in Magic Kingdom. I thought I would try to incorporate this love uh, cut file. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, this might literally be the quickest video ever. I had this scrap of paper right here with my May Killa Kit. And yes, guys, I know it's June, but you know, it's it's been a busy few days and I'm not ready to put up my June Gala Kit videos yet. So I am using this Love Arrow cut file. I got it from Scrapping Reflection Shop. And then I'm just pulling out some of these goodies that are here off to the side to just try to figure out what I want to do uh, to kind of like make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, because honestly, you guys know that this is my most favorite yellow paper ever from Paper House Productions. And it is a great, great yellow paper for Disney layouts. So I also had the scrap of white paper and I pulled out my paper crimper uh, because I wanted, I wanted it to be a little bit extra. I just didn't want a plain white square over here. Um, and I really do like the contrast between the white paper and the yellow and white background paper. So I figured the little crimped edges, the, or the entire entirely crimped paper, I should say, but you just see the edges. Um, that entirely crimped paper is going to give this layout a little bit of texture uh, when otherwise it would have been a very flat, papery layout. Now I do add texture in later on with some uh, metallic bits and things, but for the most part this is a pretty flat layout. And I think I'm kind of subconsciously having the 2017 albums be a little bit flatter. Um, I do have a variety of layouts. Some of them are very thick, just a couple, but most of them are a little bit thinner and flatter. Um, and I think I'm doing that because I have a set amount of albums that I'm pretty sure I can't get anymore. So I'm trying to make sure that they fit in there. I am just going to uh, apply the Love die cut down here across the bottom. Now it is a black die cut and the bottom of the photo is black, but you really don't have any problem whatsoever reading it. So there isn't anything there that is going to, you're going to be like, what's, what's that say? Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to read in the photo, just like you really don't see the paper crimping uh, in the video. But I swear you guys, when you're in real life and you see it up close and personal, it's there. So I added that uh, sticker up at the top that says, Do You Believe in Magic? Um, and then I am going to use this Oh Happy Day chipboard. Um, I just love this little Oh Happy Day. Uh, it's in the stickers. It's in the chipboard. I just think it's gorgeous. So I adhere that down. And then I'm like, ooh, I need a little sparkly bit right here. So I go ahead and put that big old red rhinestone. And I add the little metallic bits up here at the top. And then, you guys, like... The layout is done. Now, I did specifically pick that paper behind the castle because it did have arrows. Not that you can completely see the arrows anymore because I did cover up a lot of it, uh, but I figured it went well. Uh, and then since this layout is a little bit flatter, I went ahead and took off that extra foam on the back of that Mickey heart. So there it is, guys, a quick and easy Disney layout that could definitely be replicated with any theme that isn't exactly Disney. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again real soon for another video.